So here's the mill that needs a table under it. I'm going to build the uh, the top, uh, not not much bigger than the base of it. And uh, to determine the height of it, I'm just going to uh, I'm going to line this table up uh, about to be about waist high, and that's how I'll uh, determine the height. Um, most of us, I'm just going to make out of. Uh, I got some um, a two by quarter inch uh, angle, and uh, just going to be a pretty basic design. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and start getting that stuff cut up. these is just going to make a mark just like that and like that and do that on both ends and uh, I'm going to cut this part out in the uh, in the bandsaw and that will give me a, a make sure I get a good straight cut and it's really easy to do it that way and uh, just come back and I'm going to I'm going to knock this part out with a plasma cutter is cut and cleaned up. We'll check it for square. And give it, a, give it a tack in each corner here. I got it tacked in all four corners. I'm going to go ahead and weld it up. All right, I have it welded, bottom and on the top. And before I go any farther, I've got a piece of quarter inch plate here, and I'm just going to lay it on here and trace it out with soapstone and cut this out for the tabletop. All right, I got my guide set up, and I'm just going to cut along the line. Alright, I have it cut out. And the fit's good. So I'm going to go ahead and start working on the legs. And I got the legs cut out, and uh, if I'd have thought this through a little bit better, I wouldn't have put this uh, weld in this one corner here because, as it is, um, it keeps the piece of angle from going all the way into the corner. So. Uh, I'm going to try to grind a little bit of that out and I'm going to put a little flat on here so and hopefully it'll give it enough clearance and maybe I can get that up in there tight. Um, I'm just going to flare these legs out just a little bit. Instead of having it come straight up and down, I'm just going to flare these out and just, uh, it doesn't really, not really important what the, what the angle is, just so I'm just going to try to make them all the same. So, uh, I'll go ahead and get that done and, uh, We'll go from there. 
Okay, I had these two legs set in here, and uh, I got the angle set uh, equal on both sides. And down here, I got a piece of uh, uh, angle uh, just to hold the, the pieces up, so they're sitting, so they're parallel. Um, over here, I got a I got a magnet holding the the top, so it's uh, so it's square to the table. So uh, I'm gonna go ahead and um, tack this side in, and then I'm gonna flip it over and do the other side. All right, I have it flipped over and I got the uh, other two legs in place. I had the top legs uh, supported with these stands. And uh, on this end, I just got it, I just make sure it's uh, square to the table. And I'll go ahead and get these other two pieces tacked in. Okay, I got it uh, flipped over and um, checked all the angles and made sure it was, the measurements all over it were equal. And uh, I got these two pieces uh, sitting in here like this. And um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to lay out uh, and drill uh, a three-quarter inch hole at uh, each end of these. Okay, I got the holes drilled in these, and uh, I'm just going to uh, uh, clamp them in place here and, uh, and tack them in. All right, I got it this far, and I uh, got it sitting down on the floor. And uh, it's getting kind of late, so I'm going to wrap it up for tonight and uh, get back on it tomorrow evening. Okay, back at it. Um, I got a, I got marks about midway all the way around, and I'm going to run an uh, angle on the inside of here for a uh, for a shelf. Now I was going to use uh, this uh, inch and a half that I had and I thought I had another piece but I don't and I measured it out and this, this piece isn't going to be quite long enough and uh, it's Friday night and I'm not going to be able to I'm kind of in a I'm kind of anxious to get this done so uh, I got this other piece of here this piece of uh, two inch left over so I'm going to do a little bit of mix and match and just uh, try to get this done. Alright I had the shelf angle tacked in and it turned out I had enough inch and a half uh, to do this. I don't know what I was thinking, but anyways, um, everything's nice and uniform. So uh, now I'm going to take, uh, I got some uh, inch and a half by quarter uh, flat, and I'm going to I'm going to run a couple of pieces uh, along this middle part here. So I'm going to go ahead and get that cut up. Alright, I have those pieces tacked in, and at this point I can just start welding away. <laughs> the frames all welded and uh, now I'm going to start working on the tabletop. I'm going to measure the distance between the holes in the base and transfer them over to the table. All right, I had the holes transferred over so I'm just going to take them over to the drill press and get them drilled out. All right, I got the tabletop set on and uh, uh, going to go ahead and get that welded in. I was thinking about running a bead all the way around the outside of here, but I, I think I'm just going to stitch it in and just run a series of, uh, you know, like one inch long beads. And uh, I think that'll be more than adequate. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and get that done. All right, I got the welds in and I'm um, going to go ahead and uh, get that uh get that expanded metal out and uh, get it put on this uh, shelf here.
Now for the leveling bolts, I'm just going to put this rig up through the bottom and uh, screw a nut down on top for the lock nut. it up um, I think it turned out pretty good and should serve the purpose so that's the video and thanks for watching